How are we doing? What a soggy Sunday. It has been just a dreary, dreary day. Hopefully you got all your errands done yesterday when the sun was out and you could just cozy up on this soaking day today. It is going to remain dreary through the next couple of hours, but we're slowly going to uh, uh, get rid of those raindrops. Still going to be a bit misty and drizzly around the region for the next couple of hours, but later on tonight we'll slowly start to get rid of those low-hanging clouds and the areas of drizzle and mist. All of that has been moving from south to north and the kind of that that energy is up towards the peninsulas in the eastern shore. There's another batch of rainfall further down to the south that is soaking uh, the southern outer banks. That's part of another little area of low pressure that will slide by to our south as we head through the night tonight. So we're going to keep a passing shower in the forecast tonight. There's a big front off towards the west. This is going to kick all of this moisture out to sea as we progress into our Monday. But we'll keep the clouds around for the next couple of hours. We'll keep a little bit of that drizzle and mist around around through at least 8, 9 o'clock. That batch of moisture to our south is going to slide across pretty much the Albemarle Sound. So keep some rain uh, with you. It'll keep some rain with you for northeast North Carolina communities through the late night hours. Overnight, we see a passing light shower here or there, still a bit soggy through the night, dreary. And then we'll eventually get rid of those clouds by the time we're waking up early on Monday morning. So we'll call it uh, a dreary for the first half of the night, then some clearing by the time sunrise rolls around on Monday. Temperatures will be in the 40s, maybe some upper 30s around. But tomorrow, a totally different story compared to today. We're talking about a whole lot of sunshine from start to finish once we get rid of the clouds through the night. High temperatures back in the 50s. A beautiful day coming, on, uh, coming up for us on Monday because of that first initial front kicking all of that moisture out to sea by sunrise, by 6, 7 a.m. Now, here's something we got to look out for. There's a secondary front out towards the mountains that will pass through the region tomorrow evening, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. It'll reinforce the dry air, but it's going to pump in some cold, cold air. We're going to get a little cold blast, or a big cold blast, I should say, as we head into the work week. Now, that secondary front is not going to bring any rainfall with it, but we will notice the breeze start to pick up by Monday evening, occasionally gusting to 20-ish miles an hour, and then into two Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon, we've got wind gusts 25, 30 miles an hour. So a breezy and chilly stretch of weather coming up from Monday afternoon into Tuesday. So that means Monday night, it's going to get cold. Temperatures are going to be dropping from the 50s Monday afternoon into the 30s. Monday night, so waking up Tuesday morning, we're talking about low 30s, maybe some upper 20s around the region. With that breeze throughout the day on Tuesday, highs are going to be pinned in the mid 40s, low 40s. It's going to be a cold day coming up on Tuesday, but a bright day with a lot of sunshine. And once that breeze backs off, we have that dry, cold, calm air settling into place. It gets even colder Wednesday morning. We're talking about low temperatures maybe in the upper 20s, feeling like the mid-20s. So a cold morning, couple cold mornings, I should say, coming up. Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, Thursday morning, dress accordingly. High temperatures in the 40s, low 50s through Thursday, but a lot of sunshine is on tap for us as kind of that cold, dry air settles into place here. Next dose of rainfall we'll look out for will be coming at us by the time we roll into next weekend.